Specifically in Manville, we are in front of a home that has been elevated, raised up above flood stage and the state had been interested in making many more homes like this one, but it has now reversed that policy. Many residents are asking for the state to reverse the policy back again. What you see and hear is ensuring that a decades old home can survive for decades to come. This home in Manville, New Jersey, is the latest one on its block to be raised off the ground by about 10 feet above the typical flood level in a neighborhood that floods frequently. This was the neighborhood after Ida struck in 2021. Most of the hundreds of homes were underwater. The state, using federal funds, committed to raising more homes. Now. It confirms a change of course. Those of us who want to stay shouldn't be told we have to leave. The opportunity is there if the state will reverse their decision, and I hope they do. Kathy Quick got a federal grant to raise her home 12 years ago. She wants her neighbors to be able to do the same. Instead, the state is saying it will buy out residents to get them to move. A woman who's lived here more than three decades and didn't want her face shown says the buyout amounts don't cover most people's mortgages. The state is making a very um, poor choice because they're willing to offer, let's say, if they say fair market value, right, plus the demolition price, but yet not offer a fourth of that or a fifth of that to raise the house. It really doesn't make sense. But New Jersey's Department of Consumer Affairs says in a statement, first and foremost, public safety is the primary driver of the policy. It says that when it floods in the Lost Valley neighborhood of Manville, a few feet of flood water cut this neighborhood off from the rest of the community and future flood events are likely to do the same. That state agency says that anyone who wants to elevate their home like this can do so at their own expense. As for people who get bought out by the state's Blue Acres program and then their houses are torn down, that agency says those people are eligible for federal and state moving assistance funds. Reporting from Manville, New Jersey, I'm James Ford. PIX11 News.